May 2006 Bentley Continental GT. Dark Sapphire with timeless Portland and Nautic Hyde. This is the Mulliner edition. An update after the walk around video and the bits of footage from outside the car uh, go along with this video. I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about the car. Obviously the styling needs no introduction. A real groundbreaking car when it was introduced in 2003. Um, the styling, the Grand Coupe if you like, or, or, or GT Grand Tour. I don't think there's ever a a more appropriate name for a car like this, the way it covers ground is mightily impressive. Um, 550, 560 horsepower. So, introduced in 2003, as I say, this model in 2006 with the Mulliner driving pack was just short of £140,000 with this uprated steering wheel, a uh, four-spoke steering wheel, which for a £140,000 car, having covered just 43,000 miles at £32,000, which is what I'm selling the car for, it's really hard to imagine it's ever going to be worth any less than that. You know, what more could you ask for for 30 grand than a car capable of disappearing now down to the Channel Tunnel across into mainland Europe, a tour around, down, wherever you want to go and, and you just know it would do it in comfort and with a very, very good reliability record for these cars. You're going to get there, you're going to enjoy the drive, whether you're in comfort mode as I am now, which is becoming a bit of a common theme, four degrees there, just the alarm for the temperature. Whether you're in comfort mode like I am now or you choose to firm up the ride which is all easily navigated through the centre console. You can be going on your mountain pass roads, firm up the car. Yes it's heavy but it's so well compensated by the, the sheer power uh, and torque that this engine produces which was groundbreaking and enough to take a fairly sleek car but um, fairly heavy car up to just shy of 200 miles an hour which is as I said in the outset groundbreaking. Thanks to the uh, very well regarded previous keeper of this car, it's been updated at Bentley Main Dealer with uprated navigation and phone systems to bring it in line with the current Bentley Continental GT, which is a superb option for somebody. Also worth noting the drivetrain, yes, you know, handling this type of power is certainly a challenge for the engineers, but this, this Bentley Continental GT cruises up through the gears politely, very civilised, never have I looked down at the rev counter and wondered why the car hasn't upshifted, which is sometimes a common in automatic cars uh, at this age, but, but this has been so well refined and so well thought out, it's, uh, it, it's a real pleasure and as I say I've never had to second guess what the car is going to do. Finishing off the instruments and the display which is all very easily navigated. Some lovely chrome touches, as you'll be familiar with in, in Bentleys for the, the pulls for the air vents. Is this superb Breitling timepiece in the centre here? I've always wanted to own a Breitling, and here it is, sat pride of place in the centre of the dash and centre console in the Bentley. So, to that engine, just cleared out onto a nice bit of dual carriageway, and just currently sat at normal around town driving speeds heading into a national speed limit and hopefully you get a sense here it's just so effortless the engine only really needs a couple of thousand rpm of its six and a half thousand rpm limit because the torque is so the wall of torque is so steep and so immediate from idle that you know, a very light press of the pedal sees you up to national speed limit speeds in uh, in very short time. One of the only downsides, I guess, and people looking at a car like this is, you know, what, what are the running costs like? What's this car going to cost me? I mean, one of the major costs attributed and associated with 
cars of this type is, is depreciation and as I said previously I, I can't see a situation where this is going to lose much more money it's a desirable car it does everything you'd want to do from a Grand Tourer and it does it at a £30,000 price point uh, other running costs obviously you've got some big brakes there necessary to slow down a, a fairly fairly lumpy car but the ones on this particular car being very recently changed um, but Bentley and especially the Continental GT has a very robust reliable record which is which is nice to hear and of course let's talk about fuel consumption on a recent journey with the car uh, of around 50 miles collecting the car on a mixture of roads I'm I'm seeing 20 miles to the gallon which for a W12 configure en configured engine which not satisfied enough with that the Bentley engineers added two turbochargers to produce the 560 horsepower 20 miles to the gallon seems pretty sensible um, again it depends how you're driving but the car it isn't one of those cars that's motivating you all the time to to bury your foot into the carpet because you don't need to do it and let me tell you you know the job on burying your pedal into this carpet it's probably two inches thick it's, it's glorious um, so fuel economy relative to how you drive I haven't found it necessary to, to, to see this car to the red line at any point to, to gain the performance or to make the progress I've needed to make so in the in the very average driving I've done and, and what I'd call very typical 20 miles to the gallon seems okay um, you know I'm not disappointed with that I, I, I could have easily sat back and looked at the stats about the engine and the performance and the weight of the car and thought crikey I'm in for 10 miles to the gallon here and it's just not the case engine start stop this car on cold start is the most impressive I've, I've, I've handled. Uh, that W12 engine springs into life, quick turnover on the start button and burbles away uh, for the time necessary to create some temperature into it and it sounds grand. I think I've used the word grand tourer but grand and grandeur is my overriding word and phrases and phraseology to describe this car. Please get in touch. Let me know what uh, what additional information you'd like to know about the car. My website's got constantly changing stock. I'm always trying to buy the right cars. This is the right car. If you're looking for one of these, this is the one, let me tell you. Um, get in touch with me. Let me tell you a little bit more about it, a little bit about the history and the previous keeper. And I'll look forward to speaking to you. Thank you.